298 RES Keystone Outback Superlight here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is a triple slide, big rear living and rear entertainment model. It's got this nice nose cap on the front. And it's actually designed to be kind of automotive in nature. It sort of gives it a, like a face like it's looking at you. But uh, this has a big living room super slide on the off door side where we just came from. It has two recliners, well not recliners, but chairs in the uh, big slide on this side. And then in the bedroom, it has an extra little wardrobe slide just to give you a maximum type of storage potential. It does have an easy operating power awning. Just push the button, watch it roll in and out. You don't have to wrestle with a manual awning. Very nice in the rain. Um, so you don't have to get outside and get wet and monkey with the thing. Uh, it is spotted up a little bit, but that's pretty normal actually on any used travel trailer. If you go and open the awnings, that's what they're going to look like. Even if you have it rolled away when uh, you know it's raining, the water still wicks its way in osmosis down the awning tube and uh, it causes a little spotting on the fabric. The important thing on a used RV is that you can't see through the fabric anywhere and there's no tears. And this one looks really good. Um, the uh, Keystone's actually the originator of the outside kitchen. And this is where it all started, the little mini kitchenette. It's got a little two burner stove top, a little uh, sink attachment over here for pouring a little bit of water around. That's where it all got started. You'd set that next to your grill. You can have a grill going over here with the burgers and the brats, the, the beans and the corn going there. You're all set. Um, this does have uh, aluminum wheels and a nice suspension system on it, so it will ride nice and it'll look good going down the road. Also, let me uh, flip the camera under here real quick. We do have a nice enclosed underbelly, so this will be pretty solid for extended season camping. Um, anytime we're looking at a travel trailer, I really uh, I don't like to use the word four seasons because just an enclosed underbelly does not make it four seasons. That's a really... Uh, bad uh, mix-up that a lot of folks get themselves into. It takes a lot more than just enclosing the underbelly to make it four seasons. Um, I love this big window here, but notice too, even the windows on the sides of the slides open for ventilation. You'll see lots of windows all over in this living room. In fact, let's just hop right in there. Spare tire has never touched the ground. That's good news. That means this thing hasn't had any extra stresses and whatnot on the suspension that you didn't need to worry about. Hop inside here. I like the bigger handle too. That's nice for hopping in and out. Right when you walk in, you're greeted by a very handy little uh, control panel here, and that's going to give you, uh, you know, easy access to your slide outs, your awning, all that kind of stuff. Your water heater controls are right here. It's easy to use. You can even double check like your uh, battery levels and everything right from here. Easy access to most of your primary light switches right when you walk in the door. It's right where you need them. Now this I enjoy. It has uh, the uh, bathroom right next to the entry door. That means that if you're going down the road and uh, you got a grandkid or something with you, or even you, if you got to make a quick stop on the bathroom, there's not a rest stop down the road, you don't have to run the slides out to get to it. It's all right here. It's easy to access. And notice, too, even though this is a lightweight, it has an uncharacteristic feature for a lightweight, a fifth wheel shower, not a travel trailer tub. Now, this is also a good time to talk about the fact that this trailer is extra tall. You see how wide this ceiling is here and how it goes down? This has a domed headliner. That means that up here at the very pinnacle of that, it's seven foot tall. It goes from six, six to seven foot. It's a huge, huge important factor when you are in that shower. Now, one of the reasons I wanted to do this video was to show you stuff like this that the camera's not good for, and that is this extra pantry here in the kitchen. And uh, it's just at an angle where the camera for a still photo can't get to it, but if I don't show you, you're gonna not realize all the extra storage that is in here. So again, here's your primary pantry right here. And then you could use the other one for additional pantry space for gloves and hats or anything you want, really. Uh, one thing I do like here is these doors are all one piece. There's no seams or anything like that. So this door can't fall apart. You can bang on that thing all you want. It'll never fall apart. Um, the uh, big dinette here, that does fold into a seven foot bed when it goes down into a sleeper. And uh, we, I, I like to think we're a pretty classy dealership. I wanna show you the things other people won't. We show you the good, the bad, the ugly, the best, and everything in between. There's two things you need to know about this trailer. There is, and I can't, I mean, I can't even really visibly demonstrate it, but there is a very, very minor give to the flooring right here around that vent. My guess is it's just not structurally, supremely reinforced around that vent, but obviously it's weight bearing. I mean, I can, it's, it's not a problem. It's just, it's there, I can feel it. Then uh, the other thing that is extremely minor is there's just a little chip in the table over here. My guess is somebody took it outside to use it out there because this is a 
freestanding table and uh, it probably got dropped and just busted the edge of that off. That's it. I can't find anything else wrong with this trailer. I've looked through it front to back, inside and out. I can't find any leaks or anything like that. So if you don't mind uh, something that is so minor I can't even visibly show you and then something that's nothing more than just purely cosmetic, you're going to get yourself a heck of a deal on this thing. Uh, your sofa is an airbed that can fold out into a sleeper if need be. And again, look at the windows. Let me stand over here. Windows start here, go all the way around. About 270 degrees of window coverage here in this living room. It's pretty awesome. Uh, again, the two big chairs there, they are not recliners, though they do look like it. They are comfy, though, like recliners. They are nice. Um, we also have the uh, hideaway television here. Uh, if you want uh, full view out of that rear window, there's just a handy little switch here for a power lift. And you can see the TV just kind of slowly recesses away. Or you can push a button, watch it go up, and I don't know. I think that's cool just watching stuff like that. Your stereo down here, it's uh, all in one AM, FM, CD, and DVD enabled. You don't need to lug along extra electronics. If you uh, you like to play music off your phone or something, you know, there is a uh, auxiliary import right there. So you can do that. And you see that they did keep track of their remote controls. Little stuff like that are indicators that I look for in people. Now, notice that not just in your kitchen, but everywhere, they have these nicer upgraded doors because these things are made to take serious use and abuse. All of your windows open for ventilation. All of your windows, with the exception of the kitchen window for fire safety reasons, have nicer pleated shades. Um, man, big living room. When this thing's all opened up, let's see, that's eight foot wide trailer, two, three, it's 14 feet wide, pretty impressive. Um, now again, the you can see how the, the barreling, that interior ceiling being domed like that, it just really opens the thing up and gives you lots and lots of uh, you know space and room. Uh, we've been through the bathroom. Let's take a quick visit up to the bedroom here. Now they have, notice, uh, you have your normal his and hers side-by-side -side wardrobes. They still have uh, shell, or cabinets overhead instead of just shelving. They also have a shelf in addition to the cabinets here, perfect for things like alarm clocks and whatnot. But notice too, both sides of the bed have these little pockets with power outlets. So alarm clocks and phones can charge there, all that handy stuff. Now this is your third slide. It, uh, in addition to the storage already in the bedroom, you have a wardrobe slide like a fifth wheel. Pure storage, it's just bonus storage space. You can use the bottom of it like a shelf. You can see it obviously has hanging storage in here. You could easily go to the store and get like a little removable plastic drawer system if you need more dresser space. You will never get enough storage in any RV. It's so nice to have stuff like this. This is such a breath of fresh air. And this wall here is designed for a television. Now there's one more thing I want to talk about in this bedroom because it's awesome. And that is all of the walking space right here. Uh, you don't have to do the travel trailer shuffle to get around this bed. You can get dressed in this bedroom. That sounds silly. Like you think, well, of course you can get dressed in this bedroom. Why would he say that? Because most travel trailers you can't get dressed in the bedroom this is such a huge deal stuff like this when i see stuff like that i'm like yes some designer got it right some designer gets it so give us a call learn a little bit more or even better anytime you're looking at a used rv i really recommend you come take a look at it in person you know my opinions may vary from yours based on you know your investment for your money here i want to make sure you are very happy with what you take home from us that's why i put these videos together i show you the positive i show you the negative i show you a fair representation of this trailer or at least what i think is but i want to make sure that that does meet your expectations so give us a call 800-256-5196 halid rv of Coldwater, michigan thank you everybody take care stay safe happy camping